Sarah Adams West Bradford. I was so thrilled to hear when Ruby Bit Bridges was coming. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make that. So I'm hoping that that video is put up on the webpage so other people can, can see that. Um, the atmosphere of the district over the past two years has become incredibly toxic. The district has moved their focus away from improving academics and has become hyper-focused on social justice, activism, gender identity, and skin color. Diversity and inclusion are a wonderful thing. Downingtown, however, believes this surpasses all. So much division has occurred over the past two years because of this. The recent incident of removing the word white and changing it to silver at DMS in an effort to be as sensitive as possible truly shows the district is losing their way. This is teaching our students to be triggered for unnecessary reasons. Students are being poorly influenced. It shows an incredible lack of leadership. I honestly give these kids credit for having the courage to speak up about something. However, if they are feeling offended because of a wall color, we have a huge problem in Downingtown. Just this past week, there was a hate crime committed against a white student just down the road. Downingtown kids participated in this. Not once did an announcement go out regarding this hate crime. We have received emails and announcement, announcements in regards to hate crimes occurring throughout the, the country. A hate crime happened right in our own backyard and no announcement went out. Is this because it doesn't fit the agenda of what is being pushed by our DEI department? It states on the website to be completely inclusive, all individuals within the district must feel safe to express ideas. In bold, it reads, hate, disrespect, intimidation, and intolerance have no place in our district or in our community. It shouldn't matter what color a student is, this hate crime should have been, been addressed. This statement is not being followed on the, web, on the website. The divide is greater than ever. Having had dozens of emails, correspondence, phone calls, and meetings with so many administrators, it is very clear what the goal of the district is. When you consistently focus on skin color, you are create, creating a divide, and it has never been more evident by what has been happening within our student body on a weekly basis.